are you still interested in who I'm seeing? So as a narcissist, the reason why I obsess over you is because I still own you. I control you. You were my toy, my plaything that I owned, and that was mine. And you were the one that I could use to get whatever I wanted, that I could manipulate, that I could gaslight. And I'm kind of frustrated that someone else gets to play with you now because that was mine, and I don't share. I isolate, I control, I gaslight, I manipulate, but I don't share. So the fact that you left is very frustrating, very hurtful, and I hate that. The other aspect is that I'm watching. I'm watching to see what you do, what you say, how you act, how you interact, because I know while you're with that other guy, you're thinking about me. I know while you're trying to get healing, you're still wondering about me because you're obsessed about me. I know that you like me. I know that you love me, and I know that you want me back. So I'm not saying that that man is a narcissist, but if he is, well, he actually is. He's a self-aware narcissist, and so am I. But I love that video because it shows y'all what I say all the time. Narcissistic people think that you belong to them, regardless of whether or not you're, you're in a relationship with them or not. Just because the relationship ends does not mean that the ownership ends. Just because the relationship changes does not mean the relationship is over for a narcissistic person. The analogy I use to describe this is the Toy Story analogy. Like Woody and Buzz. You know how Andy, let's just say Andy is the narcissist in this situation right here, y'all. Andy loved Woody. Woody is, Andy didn't love Bond Woody. Woody is in love with Andy. But here comes Buzz, the new supply, the narcissist new supply. Shiny new thing. Andy, the narcissist, starts focusing on Buzz more than Woody. But guess what he doesn't do? He doesn't get rid of Woody. He just puts Woody in a toy chest. Nobody else can play with Woody. But I'm playing while he's still busy with Buzz. Just like what Ben just described. He just said you were his play thing. And he's mad that somebody else, he doesn't want anybody else to play with you. I felt that exact same way when relationships would have ended for me. That I know the person I used to be with, I, I know that they're still obsessed with me. Because sometimes I'm still obsessed with them because I own them. They still belong to me. My delusional mindset says like, even if you move on, you'll never get over me. You'll never find somebody that's better than you, that's better than me and things like that. And the more obsessive a narcissistic person is, the more dangerous they tend to be as well, y'all. So protect yourself and stay safe. If you're interested in learning more about this in person, we're doing a live in-person meet and greet and private Q&A in Austin, Texas on October the 15th, y'all. I'll be there in person in Austin, Texas. Ben will be there. Uh, strong with it before, Carrie McAvoy, PhD. A lot of other people will be there as well, y'all to narcavengers.com and get registered up y'all 30 days from now and we're also doing a private small q a y'all 26 spots left to register for that y'all come out and meet us or come out and meet other survivors and people like that find you a support system y'all hope this